processing production processing production that's been the mentality of the human car the man of mankind we always want to go out where we are raw and go will always tap you on the back hold on let me process you the way you are if you suit out no value allow me process you and in the processing of things you know it's not easy Abby. you know there's some things like gold it goes through fire at above 100 degree you know you can't stay near where they are processing gold in large quantity above 100 degree gold melts out of death just melt out you just see it naturally melt out and if you are good god would think gold if you are gold, if you are going to be gold, if you are going to be a vessel of gold, you will be passed through fire. There are different kinds of fire. There's the fire of the tongues of men. What's the name of this apostle that is being dragged on social media? The one that gave, uh, uh, the, the one that the one that saved the family that their daughters were killed in the north. Apostle, is it Chibuzo? Apostle Chibuzo. I'm going to make sure this message gets to him. How many of you noticed that the day he did that was the day social media began to drag him? The way they are dragging Apostle Suleiman. Because Apostle Suleiman is another man that has been on those kind of people in this country. So they have their, and the same person that was dragging Apostle Suleiman is the same person dragging the same, the same apostle. Why? He showed an act of kindness to a family they didn't like. And have decided we pull down this man. That's fire. Now the man doesn't need to be discouraged. There will be more heat on him. Says the Lord. But he's allowing it to bring him a goal. To take him to a higher assignment. To take him to a higher prosperity. And there are some of us. An ordinary neighbor talk to you. You will leave your house. Go and fight. We are talking about social media. More than 100 million people commenting about you. Can you stand it? But you, are, you, are, you want the success. You don't want the challenges. That success has its challenge. That kind of success puts you on that spotlight. The whole world will see you. And somebody can only cook up one, sto sto the one theory. There's uh, active intelligence. Abby, what do they call it? So it takes men that have been processed. Pass through the fire. God pass you through the fire before you see the fire. If it doesn't pass you through the fire before you see the fire, the day you see the fire, you will die. You will run away. So for the kind of giants you are going to see in the promised land, it passed them through the desert. If you can survive the desert, you can survive the promised land. All you see in the promised land is good, 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 good things, Abi. But before you conquer the promised land, there are giants. I'm going to kill the giants. But the sight of the giants alone, will they scare you? So that was the need, for the reason for the desert. And in the midst of challenges, can you trust me? So that was a need for going three days without water to see their reaction. And then coaxing rock, water to flow out of rock. And then cause yourself to reason. If you can cause water to flow out of rock for me in the wilderness, can he not cause water to come for me in abundance in the city? That's how most of you are passing through what you are passing because before you get to the promised land, you need these experiences with God. This is an eagle taking you an eaglet on its wings and releasing you to go on a free fall for thousands of feet before picking you up again to cause your spiritual wings to grow. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. So you can understand when he says he has to pass through the Nigerian church through a wilderness. I'm not one of those that we ever sit and pray let one dollar become one pound. If it become that my IQ will be the same with the people out there in the West. I've got to be a superior breed. So my nine has to be 700 to their dollar. If I can survive here, I can survive anywhere in the world. There's a special breed God is bringing out here. God wants to put in all solutions. Whenever you see me sit, think, I'm thinking solution. I've watched over 200 videos on production. And it surprises me to understand and know that what they take our raw materials to, to bring it to fine goods 
are very simple processes and the materials for these processes are common materials on our streets. But we lack the intelligence to take these materials, take our raw materials, produce something out of it. So we sell it the way it is. We are raw, our materials are raw, our mentality is raw, everything is raw. Come on, we got to sit down and learn processes. It's a system. But you must learn processes. If you know processes, you can take your raw talent, pro refine it. Was it not one of our sons here? A saxophone player. My wife and I sat him down. By the time we coached him, today he's getting clients outside Nigeria paying in dollars for a man that is not inside Abuja town to teach them how to play sax. He has refined his product. Refined his talent. His talent is his product. You can't see it physically, but it can produce results. And what we have as the most, most, most valuable asset in this country is not gold. Are you listening to me? It's not gold. You know what is the most valuable asset? You. Tap your, tap your shoulder and your chest. You are the most valuable. A solution provider. You are a solution. That's what the Bible said. The earth waited earnestly for the manifestations of the sons of God. Why are you a solution? Because Christ is in your spirit. It has concepts. There are ideas. Most of the researchers of the old times were born again Christians. Faraday was a born again Christian. They just get concepts in their hearts. God said, "Let them, like, that means we can produce light from nothing. How? Okay, let's see. In, in, uh, these waves we are seeing, can we convert it to light energy? And the idea came. We can convert mechanical energy to electrical energy that was in the heart of a born again Christian because Christ is the light and he got to work to the look at electricity and not just light energy electrical energy can we transmit it conduct it can it, be, can it travel from one place to another and when they ask him why are you killing yourself for this experiment he says so one day if this thing works people will pay you to enjoy light. A man that was not there during the time of electricity had already seen the future. That's what Christ does in you. He reveals to you the future. He gives you solutions concerning the future. He shows you things you can do about the future.